Have you ever looked at the billions of stars out into the grand, open, infinite void that is our universe and thought to yourself, life is good right now and you never want the night to end? I have. I used to stare at the stars and the moon for hours and days, not doing anything else but daydream and look and look and look. I always loved all of the celestial bodies and, uh, well, I suppose you guessed the topic of this month's spread. I invite you to follow me through time and space discovering and designing new solar systems. Welcome to my own sheet. As you already saw, I was testing out some ideas beforehand, but we will come to that later. You can see here, I already pre-drawn quite a few things. I intended to do it all in my bullet journal directly, but since I switched plants and I'm gonna use watercolor, I reconsidered. You'll see in just a moment. Also, don't mind the wavy pages, they are tea stained and for the end of May as well as the June setup. I start with the cover page as usual. I won't lie, I saw this design somewhere on YouTube by I don't even know anymore. Maybe I'll find her, then I'll put her into the description. Anyways, I was so inspired and I loved it so much that I had to do something similar. It's such a wonderful idea. The intricate design, the little points representing stars and planets. And the writing font, it's such a beautiful cover for this month, you'll see. This is oddly satisfying to watch sped up. At the same time I notice that I need a stencil for large circles. On the opposite page, I put down some art in a similar style as on the black paper. Then the headings, one for my appointments, the other for quotes that I will collect over the month. When it comes to the appointments, I only added a few days of the week and if I have an appointment at let's say 11th of May, I will add another star and write the appointment behind it. I didn't want to draw all of them, otherwise it would have looked very squeeze. Of course I wouldn't want to miss my habit tracker. I had the idea of a circular one, since it would fit way better aesthetically than the straight one that I usually use. There won't be much space left for my brain dump anymore, unfortunately, especially with the ornamental stars all around it that I will add in just a minute, but I will manage, I guess. Otherwise, I'll just have to capture it all in my Notion or any other note system. The first thing that comes into mind when you think about space that isn't the night sky is probably solar systems. Or at least that's what popped into my head. I took some watercolor paper since otherwise the pages would have been drenched and I started designing. I put down a few orbs as planets, suns and moons with a circle and added the planetary orbits. That way it just looked 
much cooler in my eyes. After finishing the outline, I am going to cover it all with paint. This was a long process to be honest. I already sped the video up so it runs 20 times faster. It literally took hours. But it was a lot of fun so I don't mind at all. just noticed that I don't have a gratitude log. show you how I set up the second week of May as well since I am insanely proud of it. <laughs> the second page I had the idea of making it a space nebula or well the Milky Way whatever you want to see it as. So I looked up on YouTube on how to draw one and I really enjoyed the process. I think I want to draw more space stuff from now on. Finally, after the third layer or so, I started to like how it all turned out. I love the saturation, I love the colors, the um, how, generally how it looked. So um, once it all dried, I added the stars with acrylic paint on top. I made quite the mess on the desk, but oh well, I had to clean anyway. Then of course, Everything had to be put into my bullet journal still. I added the dates, weekdays and everything I need for journaling, then cut it into the right size, and finally glued it all into my bullet journal. Then I cut off the edges, I made them round, and then the galaxy nebula is next. 
In real life, the white is visible way better, by the way, especially if you go over it twice. I use the hybrid gel grip in this case. And last but not least, a final flip through. I enjoyed planning and painting the spread so much, I was like in a creative flow, it was amazing. It took me at least 20 hours to create the whole spread, including planning and pre-drawing and testing out my ideas, but it was worth every second. But now it's time to tidy and clean my desk. It's a mess which you can't see on camera, luckily. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope a lot that you like my ideas and my art and I wish you a good day. See you next time!